today we are going to study william shakespeare's the merchant of venice act 2 scene 1 the scene takes place in belmont a room in portia's house the prince of morocco one of the portia's suitors presents himself to her He thinks so highly of himself believing that he is extremely attractive to women and boasts about his value. Let's go to the summary of this scene. Portia is still at Belmont having a chat with the prince of Morocco. He says that though his skin is darker his blood is as red as his love as true as any pale northern guy. Still the prince says he couldn't change the skin color except to change Portia's thoughts about him. Portia, feeling magnanimous, says it isn't up to her, but if it were, the prince would stand in her affections just like any of the other suitors, which isn't exactly a compliment given how she feels about them. The prince says he is very fierce. and list of all the things he has killed though the prince says he is willing to steal a baby bear from its mama bear a very manly thing to do apparently all of his bravado doesn't matter rules are rules and he can only win Persia through chance the prince comments that in a game of dice even hercules could be beaten by his servant luck doesn't favor anybody No matter how worthy he is still he wants to take the chance to win Portia Finally Portia reveals that in addition to setting up this crazy lottery her father has also placed a condition on anyone who chooses to try their luck If a suitor decides to play the lottery of chance and chooses the wrong one not only does he lose a chance at Portia He must never talk of marriage to another woman again. Hearing this, the prince insists on playing the lottery anyway, and Portia insists on having dinner. Let's go to the scene at a glance. The Prince of Morocco, one of Portia's suitors, appears at Belmont. The Prince of Morocco boasts about his value and his attractiveness to women. Portia for God's sake bears with him and at the same time known that if he chooses the right casket then she will have to marry him. Morocco at the same time is told that if he chooses the wrong casket then he has to work for eternal celibacy. It does not discourage the prince of Morocco as he is hell bent on making choice. We will continue the play in the next video. Thank you.